Hey guys, what's up? So I've been back from Camden, Tennessee for a week now, and in that week's time, I have been carrying the Canik TP9SF. As I stated in my earlier video, I had picked up a Green Force Tactical inside the waistband holster for it. Um, and normally, I probably wouldn't make a video uh, so soon, uh, whether it's not whether it's to like recommend something or just showcase something, but. Since I have kind of a somewhat of a long history with Green Force tactical uh, holsters, I figured I'd go ahead and make a video and let you know what I think about it. Uh, this particular one for my SIG P320, I've been carrying this one for about, uh, I think a year, year and a half, excuse me, yeah, a little over a year and a half. Now, of course, there has been some intermittent times in there when I've carried uh, the Glock 19, but that didn't last too long. And this is pretty much what I've been carrying for a year and a half. Also, shortly after that, I picked up an outside the waistband holster for the same gun because I like to run this one sometimes whenever I take uh, rifle classes or if I'm just out in the out in the out on the farm and just running drills with the chest rig. It it seems to be a little bit easier when you use an outside the waistband. So, flash forward to now, and uh, basically what I did when I got home, I had a few more days off, so I went shooting a couple times, put maybe. I don't know, two, 250, maybe 300 uh, more rounds through the Canik. And then I picked up a couple of boxes of my Corbon DPX and ran through this to make sure it functioned okay. And, I, and once it did, which, you know, I, I didn't have any doubts, I decided that it would be safe to uh, start carrying this Canik. So, like I said, so it's been maybe just a little bit over a week now. I'm very impressed. But uh, the video is more about the holster instead of the gun and um, down at the SOE party I got uh, the I got the meet Christian Green and Chad and Ashley down there and we talked holsters and just you know introduced ourselves to each other and had a good conversation and he just happened to have one of these uh, canic holsters in his car so he ran out and got it and picked it up for me and Basically, they, they gave me a pretty good deal since he had actually used this and ran it uh, in a class, which they didn't have to because, the, as you can see here, the holster's in perfect condition and pretty much has the same, you know, high quality as all the other uh, Green Force tactical, uh, excuse me, yeah, Green Force tactical holsters that I have. But um, I guess what I can, what, what can I say about it differently? Um, I guess the, the one thing I do like on all of his holsters, as far as the inside the waistband ones is the uh, minimalist amount of kydex they use in them because as you can see here this is a relatively large gun this is about the size of a Glock 19 this is a, definitely a full-size gun and uh, I like the fact how there's not a bunch of excess kydex and stuff a lot of times other holster manufacturers will have you know extra ridges and stuff on them and this is just barely enough to carry the gun and which is what you know I prefer and you see here all the lines are perfect. Everything meets up uh, very nicely. Everything's nice and even. Of course, the edges are nice and smooth. And to me, most importantly, is that it uses uh, the soft loops. So I'll never, ever use a holster that has clips or J-hooks or any of that. Because quite frankly, uh, guys who train know the reason why to, to not use those. Because if you train enough and practice enough, I promise you, uh, eventually one day the gun uh, and the holster together are going to come out of your belt. So always use the soft loops. But anyway, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, just a plain Jane black holster. Uh, but it makes carrying this gun uh, incredibly easy. Uh, it distributes the weight pretty, pretty awesome. And, you know, it honestly to me doesn't seem like I'm carrying a full-size gun because I do tend to prefer to carry uh, larger guns. They're just easier to get a grip on in the holster. They're easier to shoot. They're easier to shoot more accurately. And, um, you know, obviously the benefit of having more rounds. Of course, the lockup on the holster is perfect. Yeah, and, you know, it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. So, yeah, so um, before I wrap this video up, I will go ahead and throw it on my belt. Uh, typically, uh, it's fall now, so I just you know usually wear jeans or cargo pants or whatever. But I'll throw it on and show you how easy uh, it is to conceal with the combination of a, a good gun belt and a great holster. So be right back. All right, guys. I figured before I wrap this video up, I'd show you kind of how the gun carries. Just wearing a t-shirt and a pair of cargo pants. Um, as you can see here, I don't think it prints. 
too badly for being such a large gun, at least on me. But honestly, I think uh, guys who worry about printing are a little insecure about carrying a gun to, be, to begin with. Because the bottom line is that no one really pays attention to you as much as you think they do. So I wouldn't even worry about it. But for those that are you know, concerned about printing, I don't think this one does that bad, even for like a large size gun. But as you can see there, you know, hugs the body nice and tight. I don't even really have my belt that tight. I could even pull it up a little bit if I wanted to. But uh, yeah, holds the gun nice and secure, close to the body. It's comfortable, easy to draw from, easy to reholster, and you know, it's secure. It's not going anywhere. So um, that's pretty much the reason. All those that I that I stated earlier is why uh, Green Force Tactical has pretty much become my favorite holster. So. This is definitely a product that I would uh, recommend to, to every serious uh, gun owner, every serious uh, concealed carrier out there. I don't think you're going to do much better. And uh, they make good stuff. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. So uh, uh, check them out. I'll leave their website in the description below. And uh, give them a look. I think you'll find something you guys will like. So thanks.